welcome back everyone so if you are using the internet using the ethernet connection then there are few best setting to change to lower the ping lower the latency and also increase a bit of internet speed so make sure that you apply these changes right now so that you can get the best internet connection so click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl this is a quick command to open the network adapter box and it will quickly bring up the network connection now here you have to look for the adapter of the ethernet once you get it make a right click on it and click on properties now here in the properties, the first thing that i would recommend you if you are not using the internet protocol version 6 that is tpip version 6 then uncheck this option here and then you have to click on the configure that is on the top and this will bring up this kind of box here now here from the top menu option you will have to click on power management and make sure this allow the computer to turn off this device to see power has been unchecked this should not be selected here and you have to keep this unchecked then you will have to come to the driver section and click on update driver click search automatically for drivers and if the update are available it will automatically update it and if not then it will say the best driver for your device are already installed okay now finally you will have to click on advanced here and in the advanced you will find all kind of property here and here exactly we have to make the changes all right so on the very top you will find the arp offload now you have to click on the drop down from the right hand side and choose it to disable flow control again it will be disabled interrupt moderation you have to keep it to disable ip version 4 checksum offload you will have to choose to disable jumbo frame click on the drop down and choose the maximum number of value available here like on my end it's 9014 so i will select it then you will get the large send offload uh, ip version 4 you have to disable it and large send offload ip version 6 will be also disabled network address you have to keep it to not present only whichever has been selected to default ns offload will be again disabled priority and vlan it will be selected to priority and vlan enable don't make any changes here receive buffer now this is a very important setting guys and here we have to try to uh, enter the maximum value so in order to find out the maximum value what you can do here just type 1024 and then you will have to click on close now it will give you error that says the value is out of range the valid range is from 32 to 512 in increment of 8 so it shows me the maximum range is 512 so now we got to know that what is the maximum value we can enter in the value section here okay so click on ok and now type 512 next we have the receive segment and it will be disabled for both ip version 4 and ip version 6 shutdown wake on lan will be enabled speed and duplex i would recommend you to keep somewhere one gigabyte full duplex uh, but you can even try uh, 10 mbps full duplex all right tcp checksum offload will be again disabled for both ip version 4 and 6 and then next we have the transmit buffer and we have to apply the same method as we did in the receive buffer so again in the transmit buffer also we have to put the maximum value so we will type in the value 1024 and click on close mm -hmm. and again we will be getting the error now it shows me the maximum value that i can enter i can use is around 128 okay so i will click on ok and type here 128 now this maximum value can be different on your end so whatever it shows you on your end that exactly what you have to enter here udb checksum offload you can keep it to rx and tx enable you can also try it to disable and after that you can try that it make any kind of difference or not if not then you can select to rx and tx enable and then finally wake on magic packet and wake on pattern match will be disabled so now finally click on close and then bring up the network connection again so now you are almost done with the tweak and optimizing the network ethernet connection but if you have not changed the dns server address then you have to also change the dns server address to get the faster response so again make a right click on it go to properties look for internet protocol version 4 make a double click on it and you can see that i am still not using the uh, dns server address 
So you have to choose here the second option. Use the following DNS server address. And here in the preferred and alternate, you can use a different kind of DNS server like of Google or the Cloudflare. But it all depends that from which server you are getting the minimum ping. So in order to find out what you can do, click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. And here first you can ping the Google account and see that what kind of ping you are getting from them. For that you have to type ping and for Google it will be 8.8.8.8 and hit the enter key. Now it will be pinging the Google and it will let you know that what kind of minimum, maximum and the average ping you are getting. So from Google, I'm getting the average ping of 14 ms. So now let's ping the Cloudflare. For that I have to type ping space 1.1.1.1 again hit the enter key and now from the cloud flare i can see that i'm getting the average ping of 11 ms so that's less and good as compared to the google here so i will be going with the cloud flare but on your end you have to find out that which dna server is giving you the minimum ping so here in the preferred i will type 1 1 1 and 1 and in the alternate, I will type 1, 0, 0, and 1. Now, this is for the Cloudflare. For the Google, it's different. I will leave both the DNS server address in the description. And you can use any one of them, whichever is giving you the minimum ping. Okay, so click on OK, click on OK. And now you can close it. Go ahead and restart the computer. And now you will find that your internet uh, Ethernet adapter has been optimized and you will be getting a better internet connection speed, lower ping and the lower latency. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.